welcome back everyone to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we're taking a look at Stillwater, a crime drama loosely inspired by the events of Amanda Knox. Before we get started, please give the video a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to stab that bell icon to stay notified of our releases. Without further ado, let's jump in. The film starts off with Bill Baker, an oil worker from Stillwater, Oklahoma, who travels to Marseille, France to visit his daughter. We find out that she's in prison, having so far served five years of a nine-year sentence for killing her roommate and unfaithful lover, Lena, although she claims to be innocent. During his visit, his daughter passes him a note to give to her lawyer, Mrs. Lepac which says that a man has been going around taking credit for the murder of Lena. Since the information is just hearsay, her lawyer refuses to reopen the case, so Bill returns to the prison and lies to Allison about the case petition. Bill meets a woman named Virginie at his hotel and her younger daughter Maya, and asks them if they could translate the full letter. This leads Bill to the professor who wrote to Allison originally, and he gives Bill a phone number of someone who knows the killer personally. Together, Bill and Virginie meet this young woman who reveals the killer's name to be Akeem. Working together with Virginie, Bill begins to get close with Maya while her mother digs through Allison's and Lena's social media accounts, printing off several pictures. Bill shows these pictures to Allison, who identifies Akeem in one of them. Bill uses this photo to track down Akeem, but is beaten severely by a group of his friends. Bill admits to Allison that her lawyer was never going to reopen the case, and since he didn't go to the police when he found Akeem, and he's now in hiding, Allison gets mad at him for ruining her one chance to be exonerated, and tells him to never show his face again. For the next four months, Bill stays in Marseille, renting an apartment in the same building as Virginie and working construction. Allison gets a free day out of prison, and Bill uses the time to reconnect with her. He has also grown close to Virginie in the time being. One night, while out at a soccer game with Maya, Bill spots Akeem and knocks him out, kidnapping him. He ties Akeem up in the basement of the apartment building. Bill hires a private investigator to DNA match a lock of Akeem's hair to the crime scene. Akeem tells Bill that Allison had hired him to kill Lena using a gold locket that said Stillwater on it as payment, and this makes Bill begin to question his daughter's innocence. The private investigator becomes suspicious of Bill and poses as an inspector to question the tenants if they had seen Akeem anywhere in the building. Virginie denies it, but in turn becomes suspicious of Bill as well. When the police arrive, they arrest Bill and make him take them down to the basement, but to his surprise, Akeem is gone. Later, Virginie confronts Bill, telling him that she released Akeem herself and wants him to move out and stay away from her and her daughter. The following day, Lepak tells Bill that the DNA results have exonerated Allison, but Bill is still uneasy about this. After Bill and Allison return to Oklahoma, he asks her about the necklace. Here, Allison breaks down and admits that she hired Akeem, but only to scare Lena and make her leave. Somewhere in the translation, Akeem misunderstood and thought he was meant to get rid of her permanently. And things spiraled out of control. She then calms down and says that everything in Stillwater still looks the same. While Bill, trying to accept what all has happened, remarks that everything is now different. Overall, the film was an interesting tale and well acted. Sadly, there wasn't that great of chemistry between Matt Damon and Abigail Breslin, but maybe that was the point, that they were estranged father and daughter. While slow at times, the mystery itself was enough to want to see it through to the end, and the final reveal felt both deflated but fitting. I give the film a 7 out of 10, well worth a watch if you're interested in a crime drama. Thank you all for checking out the video. Please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you want to contribute to our growing channel, you can check out our Patreon, which is linked below in the description. You can also reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or chat with us on Discord, also linked below. I've been your host, Jackie Kay. And before I go, most of us have someone we care for and would do anything for. 
and loyalty can be a great aspect of human nature. However, make sure it's for the right reasons. If they're doing something wrong and you know about it, it is not your responsibility to cover for them. Get them help, convince them to turn themselves in, otherwise you're just as guilty as they are. Thanks again and take care.